Hello and welcome to the latest video from TPEN, Transcription for Paleographical and Editorial Notation, a digital tool designed to assist scholars in the transcription of unpublished manuscripts. This video will introduce you to the updated transcription user interface, unveiling the new transcription page found in version 0.4 of TPEN. You may recall that in an earlier video we demonstrated how T-Pen could be used to transcribe an early Irish Gospel book, St. Gall Codex 51, which is now digitized and available on the eCodices website. In that earlier demonstration video, our transcription user interface looked like this. In version 0.4 of T-Pen, it looks like this. The transcription box now hovers over the digitized image of the manuscript page and it moves down the page line by line as you transcribe. At the bottom left corner of the box, a series of buttons provides access to a variety of transcription aids, while the buttons at the bottom right corner take you to different pages and features within the T-Pen tool. Finally, at the bottom left of the page, a menu allows you to navigate through the manuscript you are transcribing. The remainder of this video will demonstrate some of these features, showing how the new transcription page may be used to transcribe a 14th century manuscript, now in the Houghton Library at Harvard, English Manuscript 515. A digitized copy of this manuscript, which contains the poetic work known as the Prick of Conscience, once ascribed to Richard Rolla, is available at the Digital Medieval Manuscripts at Houghton Library website. This is folio 22 recto of the manuscript, which contains part of the poem's description of purgatory. As before, I simply enter my transcription of the line in the transcription box. A tab to the right of the box enables me to open the notes box, where I can add any notes I wish to associate with this line. For example, in this case, I may wish to note that the verb sayin is added above the line in darker ink. Another tab to the right allows me to move to the next line of the page. Alternatively, I could also use the tab key on my computer. Notice how both the transcription and the note I have just entered for the preceding line are both now displayed above the transcription box. I continue transcribing the Latin title of the next section of the poem and once again click on the tab to move to the following line. Here I may make use of one of T-Pen's transcription aids for, as you can see, this line contains two examples of a special character, the Middle English letter Thorn. The Characters button beneath the transcription box provides access to a range of special characters, here including Thorn, which each user may customise to their own preferences. Clicking on the appropriate button inserts the special character directly into your transcription. Alternatively, a hotkey facility also enables you to use your computer's keyboard to insert each special character into the transcription box. This facility is also available for transcribers who wish to engage in XML markup, for clicking on the XML tags button allows me to enter XML tags in a similar manner. Other buttons beneath the transcription box provide access to further transcription aids. For example, I can still view the full manuscript page I am transcribing, a feature which also provides a handy navigation tool, as I can move to any line on the page simply by clicking on it. Moving back to the Latin title I have already transcribed, I can make use of the Latin Dictionary tool, which provides access to our own mirrored version of the Perseus site's Latin morphological analysis and collection of Latin dictionaries. Here, for example, I run a search on the first word on the line, the Latin word locus, meaning place. A similar tool provides access to the Clementine Vulgate. I can use this tool to run a search on, say, the word purgatorium, as a result of which I find out that, rather unfortunately, there appears to be no reference to purgatory in the entire Bible. Finally, the abbreviations button provides access to a complete copy of Capelli's Dictionary of Latin Abbreviations, which is navigated by means of two drop-down menus. The upper menu allows you to choose the first letter with which the abbreviation begins, and then the lower menu enables you to navigate through each page within that section of the dictionary. To conclude, I would like to note that you can always dismiss any of these tools by clicking on the red 
full screen transcription button which returns you to full screen transcription. And here I end this demonstration of some of the features of TPEN's new transcription page, which we hope will be of great assistance in your work with digitized manuscripts. Thank you.